Okay. Um, it was a uh, kind of a typical first game, I thought, uh, first appearance. Uh, I thought we did some really, really good things, and I thought we did some things that have got to be uh, improved and improved quickly. Um, uh, we played in spurts. That does not surprise me because when you're trying to establish the kind of game that we're playing, you know, up and down a little bit, and, uh, defensively pressure and, and uh, trapping and, and uh, deflections and turning those into uh, layups, you're going to, you, you know, it's going to end up being a uh, kind of a, uh, it won't be, the even flow won't be there. It'll be more of uh, you know, playing in spurts and, and think you'll look real good over a short period of time and you, you know, then you kind of level off a little bit and then you'll get back at it again and that's kind of where we uh, were, were tonight. I was a little surprised we didn't get a little better start. We had such a good warm up, such a good practice yesterday that I thought we'd get a little better start. But, uh, you know, we hung with it, we stayed with it. I thought the guys that played the hardest played the best. And that's the way it should be. Uh, you know, Downey, uh, Devin, uh, I thought, uh, uh, gave the uh, uh, gave the fans a, a taste of what you know we see every day in practice, and uh, I thought he was uh, outstanding. And um, you know, I, I look at uh, uh, Mike Holmes, and uh, I say you know he, he was a workhorse inside and uh, rebounded, and, and you know for the most part he defended. I felt very well, but and for his first outing, I thought he he showed an awful lot, and uh, you know Dwayne shot the ball pretty well. He shot it often for sure. And, uh, you know, shot it uh, you know, pretty well. And I thought Zam, you know, Zam playing two positions, and that's not real easy. I thought he he did uh, pretty well as well. You know, Sam Muldrow obviously uh, had been saying, you know, he could, he could block shots. What did he get tonight? Three, four, what did he get? Five blocks? Five blocks tonight. And, you know, I think that's, uh, you know, whether he can do that against uh, SEC caliber competition or not, probably not right now, but uh, he is a factor once he gets his confidence and his, his legs uh, up under him and a little more confident in what he's doing. So it was a good night for us and, and uh, appreciate the crowd that came and uh, I appreciate uh, Guilford College for, you know, sharing the night with us. It was a, a real thrill for me to have Guilford in and a real thrill for me to uh, uh, see them play well. Uh, ben Strong, uh, I, you know, I didn't see him play last year. I followed their progress, and uh, I was fortunate enough to give him the uh, the Player of the Year, Co-Player of the Year in Division Three uh, uh, award last year. Uh, where was the Final Four? I forgot. Where was last year's Final Four? Anybody know? No, no, no. I, not. I'm talking about the Division One Final Four. Atlanta. You ask it quizzically, I don't know, I'm, I couldn't remember. Uh, but uh, I happened to be there and uh, they asked me to give his award to him. And that was a thrill for me. And the nice first time I've ever seen him play. And, uh, you know, I think he's, he is excellent. I mean, he, he's an excellent player. He really has got a great touch, a great feel for the game. And, um, you know, he's going to, he'll be a handful uh, in his league. It was a handful of night and more, and uh, I think our guys were a little surprised at that. And uh, you know, we didn't do any kind of scouting report or anything like that, but uh, maybe we should have. <laughs> we didn't, maybe would have defended a little bit better. But uh, still, uh, I think Guilford will go on and have a great year, and uh, hopefully win their league, the ODAC, and, and then go on and, and play great in uh, the Division Three uh, National Championship. So I look forward to, to uh, uh, South Carolina State on, on Friday. It'll be our opening. I know we'll have a good crowd for that. And, uh, it'll be a lot of people in over the weekend, and things will go well for us. Any questions? Coach, what do you think about the way Dwayne Day played uh, defense and his defensive effort? Well, I think he played. Uh, he gave us great effort tonight, and uh, you know I was pleased with that. I, I think technique could have been a little bit better. You know the the shots uh, the shots came easily tonight. And uh, Guilford's defense was stay between your man and the basket and make him shoot the outside shot, and, and we obliged by taking a bunch of them. But I think Dwayne, uh, you know, I think he, he hustled. I thought he played hard, and, um, you know, he was on the floor. And certainly is one of our the guys that knows what to do, so I hope he'll continue to play like that. 
Well, I think that's a little bit skewed. I, I think we got the tough rebounds. We did. Uh, we did not uh, block out early. I, I think it's a seasonal goal. Uh, we did not meet our individual goal tonight. You know, if you if you peer ahead at the season, we didn't rebound like we we must in the SEC for sure, and that's something that's got to be corrected. So. Uh, you know, Dominique, for instance, uh, you know, we get four rebounds. And, come on, we got to have more than that out of him. We do. Coach, it seemed like a lot of there was quite a few times that you actually had all five defenders on one side of the court, but they had two players back on the other side of the long rebound. That was when we were doing the traps, mm -hmm. the traps, and that that, that does uh, occur on occasion. They got the ball out when they did, they were able to score. Um, but that does happen when you don't rotate properly. I think we over rotated on the times you're talking about. Well, it is a lot, and uh, I would have liked to have had more, and I would like for them to have had less, but it didn't work out. <laughs> uh, it's a lot for any of our teams, for sure. I mean, I think that's, I mean, I, you know, whether you're going to see 90 out of us again this year, I could, I mean, I wouldn't predict that, but I do think you'll, you'll, you'll find it will score more than certainly we score. I don't, what did we average last year, right? At 60 or something like that? I mean, I think we'll average more than that. It'd be closer to 70, I would think. And, you know, you're not going to be able to score 99 against SEC caliber competition. He's not. He, he hurt his neck in the first half, and uh, we decided not to play him in the second half. He, he got hit, I don't think it was the Adams apple, but something in that area. And he was just stiff, and, you know, I just didn't. I just figured that'd be a good time to get our freshmen some time. So nothing more than that. Uh, we'll make a decision before South Carolina State on his red shirt. I've talked to him. I, I'm leaning that way, but final decision has not been made. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I think I think you'll see that early, Phil, but I don't think you'll see that as we get as he plays into the the season. I thought he did well. Yeah, he he gave in easy to the jump shot, but he's always taking jump shots. I mean, that's no that's no that's no uh, surprise. What we got to do is get him. Out. But he also made a couple of really nice passes in there to Mike and Holmes and, and one other bounce pass I remember particularly. He he's he's a capable passer. I don't want him to latch on to I've got a score to be good. He'll score just because he, he can do it. I want him to work on the rest of his game. But I think you'll I think he'll feel some I don't know what you call it pressure, but you know, he'll he'll feel a little responsibility early to do to do well. He wants to deliver for the fans, but I think he'll gradually get into that. Thank you.